It is the most wonderful time of the year to check out fantastic holiday light displays across our state and we are kicking it off our first one this afternoon at Lincoln Lights in Orange where they are also raising money for a good cause. Meteorologist Lauren Richardson is there checking it all out. Lauren, how's it looking out there? I mean, it is beautiful out here. Lots of gorgeous lights to see here in Orange. But first of all, I want to take you to the man, the myth, the legend. This is the owner, Chris Small. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. And I mean, first of all, this is an amazing display. Tell me a little bit about it here at Lincoln Light. Uh, it's our 12th year doing it. Uh, it's We've been collecting money this year for a JDRF, a Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund. Uh, we do it for all the neighbors and all the town of Orange and the people who come to see. It's a free event and it's... It's a fun time. Yeah. Um, so how many lights are there and like what are some of the highlights if you come here and you want to see the display? So yes, uh, it's about 20,000 lights. Uh, the whole roof is redone this year wow. and we added, um, I don't know, probably 5,000 more lights from last year. So there's, and some stuff was getting old and it failed, but that's okay, that's gone. <laughs> uh, and then, so if you turn your radio to 98.1 and you can listen to the lights blink to the music. I mean, how long does it take you to put up this amazing display? 20,000 lights, that's a lot. Uh, it's like a hundred hours. Uh, this year was a little longer. It was it was a lot this year, but um, between the kids and the sports, it's, it's it works out. Basically, the whole month of November, I work on it. Right, and you have three wonderful sons too, and you do this for one of them, I believe, right? Who also has a juvenile diabetes. Yes, my 12-year-old was diagnosed at nine months or nine years old, um, so he's had it for a few years now. We've been collecting the money and give 100% of the proceeds to them. And That's wonderful. Ra raise that money. That's wonderful. Well, you got to stop by and see it for yourself. I mean, it is a sight to see. Let's talk a little bit about the weather, too, for this evening. Obviously, it's dry. It's nice out here. Temperatures are going to dip back down into the 30s. But if you're looking between today and tomorrow to come visit, I mean, today is definitely a milder day. Tomorrow, as Mike has been mentioning, is going to be pretty chilly out there. But we're going to be back here at 530 when it's even darker out. We're going to see more of this amazing display. So live tonight. In Orange, I'm meteorologist Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Well